everybody, this is Steve from Cali Performance, back for another video. Uh, today we're going to show you the assembly of the jet pump. Uh, in our last video we showed you how to take it, take it out. Um, in this video we're going to show you how to, how to install it properly. And um, this is not a 310, this is a 15F, a 2016 15F. Um, but it's basically almost identical. Um, you're just going to have the trim and um, a couple other bolts here and there uh, and an additional uh, hose and the cables are on the other side but virtually the same thing um, so we have our parts here we got our jet pump we might still have the cone assembly on it um, we have um, our bucket with all our hardware and for this job here we're going to need our 3h drive with uh, an extension and a 14 millimeter socket. We're gonna need a 12 millimeter or a number six Allen key. On the 15F, you can use the number six. On the 250, 260, 300, 310, you can use the 12. Um, you're gonna be using a number five Allen key. And then, uh, typically we like to use the quarter drive ratchets on stuff like this, so that'll be uh, that would be a lot easier to work with. And we got our six ratcheting wrench that we used in our last video, which is very important. And we got our 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench, um, which is for the steering. So first and foremost, we're gonna install this pump. Um, as explained in the last video, make sure that your pump looks good. This one we just did the KV upgrade on with the uh, with the nut and the uh, triple bearing setup on here. So this pump is ready to go. So all in all, what you want to do first before you install, make sure the splines are good. This one definitely looks pretty good. You want to put a little grease in here, which we already put some grease in this, um, this cone. And uh, you want to go ahead and uh, start the installation. So first, I'm going to set this pump in here. And we're going to get it over the drive shaft and push it in. No grease is required on the trim seal, uh, but just make sure they're very corroded in there, just clean it up with some scotch brite or whatever else or something. Alright, and you want to make sure here that your water feed lines are on bars and give this a good push in. Water feed lines are good. Right. And that's what it should look like. Like I said before, this is the KP setup. So we got the, um, the bearing back here with the nut, and we got the additional cone up here. So this is uh, this is a more stable setup, and if there was something to happen to the pump, it's not going to push up into the motor. It'll destroy the pump, but it won't damage the motor. So we're going to take our four M10 pump bolts, the stainless steel pump bolts, and we're going to install them in there. Alright guys, now we're going to tighten these M10 uh, bolts back here. You're going to want to torque these to 27 foot pounds. I'm not going to torque them here because uh, after doing this a million times, you get pretty good at uh, correct torque setting. <laughs> so you're going to want to work in a crisscross um, orientation. You don't want to tighten them all the way, you want to make sure that the pump is pulled in nice and evenly.
cup bolts are installed and torqued. All right, so next what we're gonna do, which is a little more difficult, is we're gonna tighten the clamps here. The best orientation, I don't know if you guys can see this, is facing the right-hand side of the hole for this one, and the other one's gonna be facing the left-hand side of the hole. So for this, we're gonna grab our six millimeter ratcheting wrench, and we're gonna tighten this up. And these are very fragile clamps, so do not want to over tighten them. And a good test is you can kind of grab it and pull, and it should have a little flex to it, but it should not move. <clears throat> okay, uh, next we are going to install the nozzle. Here. <clears throat> Alright, so now would be the time to install your wedge, if you're installing a wedge on any of the models. Um, just follow the directions for the wedge, which orientation it goes, and that would go in here and use the supply bolts with the wedge. So now we are going to, oh yes, um, this is your, your bilge lines. If they were already still in there, leave them, but they do hook up to the top of your nozzle here. So right now we're going to install them. bolts or supply with the pump wedge. lines hanging until uh, we're done installing the nozzle and we install them. The bolts holding the nozzle on, uh, no Loctite, please. Um, if you want, you can install anti-seize, but it's not required. So we're going to tighten these using a 12 millimeter socket. Same method as we did the pump and crisscross. Now we're going to install these build lines up here. And there's no clamps on here or any zip ties or anything. They just slide right on. Bad. So now we're going to want to install our steer steering linkage and for that we're going to use our 10 millimeter hex. For this we recommend putting any C's on here. This one already still has a little bit. This one is to use your 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench or you can use a 10 millimeter socket and torque to 87 inch pounds. There you 
got to be really careful with this one. If you over tighten it, it'll rip the threads out and you will have to get it away. Okay, now we're going to do our bucket. For those of you who are uh, doing a 15F, you're going to be using the uh, number 6 um, Allen key for this. Uh, on this machine, you upgraded to the 250, 300, 310, which is a 12 millimeter hex and less likely to get stuck and break. Um, so you can do that as well, but uh, in this video, we are using the 12 millimeters. So those, these are the ones that have a little bushing, big washer, and uh, for those of you on the 12 Fs, it's all one piece and it has a, a little LED set there. So for this, <clears throat> you want to install the bucket over, quickly a little tight. And then you want to hand tighten your screw for now. Second to last is our step. <clears throat> so the step, um, pretty straightforward. Every model has a step. Um, what we're going to use here is a, a number five Allen key with our extension, quarter drive. However you want to get the job done, it's make a big fun. Um, but I'm going to start these like this. <clears throat> Everything goes in loosely, so you can make a final adjustment. And also 87 inch pounds on the board. So we got one there. And you got these washers on here too. Just the screw with the washer. And he sees you can put on here as well. No Loctite. Nothing in this process you will use Loctite because it will be permanently adhered to the disc forever. Not least is these two M6 screws. 
screws here that have little washers on them, there's two of them. These go on the bottom of the pump. Definitely apply anti seize to these. Um, uh, these also 87 inch pounds, and these go underneath. So, back here. Come